Hello and welcome to this presentation. You will learn how to model this frame, apply it all the horizontal load necessary using Prota Structure 326 version, design this frame, and as well, we will produce the design, bend the moment, and shear force diagram. We are nominated to see the behavior of this frame based on this applied horizontal load. And we proceed to optimize the frame section successfully. This is the first time you have come across our channel, so Freezing Academy, consider subscribing. Let us get started. I will create a new project for the frame design. Now, get to the file menu and then new option. So, in the project code provision, we will provide frame 2 as the project name. And then the code of practice will be United Kingdom Euro code. Have that select. Click on OK. Here we go. So, this is the new project now before we proceed to model we need to observe the frame given to us so we have this frame span four meters and height three three meters and then we have the horizontal load bear in mind that the bottom constraint of the frame one side is fixed on the other side is edge all right so we are going to be providing all of this and then the frame material is going to be steel okay so let us make progress we create a grid lines navigate to the modeling tab click on grid options we have the first horizon vertical grid or the control key to have a straight line just like this okay and then we proceed to have an horizontal grid line successfully Zoom closely, select grid A, grid line A, and then use offset options. So I'll move my hand towards the right directions and press F2 on the keyboard, type in the spans to be 4000 millimeters. Enter on the keyboard, escape. Here we go. So we proceed. We want to insert story because we have two stories. The first is three meter and second is three meters all right so we proceed navigate to the stories options right click and then insert story at default story height is three meters so i have two in this provision click on the ok option yes option so i have it created i'll navigate to the st1 and then we want to model the steel material okay so under under modeling tab navigate to column option click right here and in the property window you can check the sections so we go by this default section for the steel columns i select that and then we need to protect this these directions click on the ok options i do a window over the green lines intersections and then release my hand to have the steel stanchions placed successfully add story one i click on the close options now proceed to modeling tab frame options we use t beam options and over here this is the sections we are considering 305 165 40 kg select that options click on the ok and then we pick the first point and then the second point escape from the keyboard and then select in this story one option right click and navigate to 3d so this is the first frame we have created so we will be generating this to the next floor so we will select in this provision and then i right click from here click on generate stories options and then source stories is st1 target story is st2 click on the okay option yes option to have the story generated successfully click on the okay here is the frame we have modeled successfully but if you see the bottom constraint of the of the frame support is fixed now okay let us look at the foundation of this uh frame like the foundation depth so you select in this provision of stories right click navigate to edit stories options and then you can see the foundation depth here is 1000 
100 i will just change this to 450 right here and click on the ok option and then let's get back again to the edit stories provisions structural system right here should be still just like this click on the ok option okay so now we want to work on the uh on the supports so we just put the weight on that modeling tab click on the two options and then you see support types right here at default we have fixed support you can see fast restraints right there i will click on the plus sign to add an additional support and then this support i will call it support one i click on the ok and i will select the restraints which is these two okay so you can see the rotation about x and y is been removed successfully so this is the second support and then this one at default is the first support which is fixed okay this one is uh age or pin support click on the ok option from here how do we apply that because one of the frame bottom constraint uh stanchion is fixed i, I believe is this side let's confirm that okay so this is it this one all right so what you do select on the uh steel stanchion that is to be changed the support and then use the properties go to geo options and over here support type i use support one this one click on apply so you can see that has been changed successfully click on close so we have actually assigned the right supports to that stanchion successfully okay i click here to save this model as we proceed to the loading and then load cases and combinations click on the loading generator options so over here make sure you check generate combination for steel members should be checked we are considering this load and not the horizontal load combinations okay this is practical click on the ok and these are the factors based on the euro code selected click on ok options here the code is generated click on ok option as well all right so we want to start to apply the horizontal loads on the frame so we have the udl which is uh, 20 clonitin per meter right here and a point load of 25 kiloliters right here so what we happen navigate the grid lines to the last level of the frame click on load editor options here we go this is the load editor first we'll be applying the uniform distributed load as a dead load right here so over here we have the g and the q load so select the g load click on the full uniform load options over here we are having the load value of 20 kilonewton per meter okay so for the direction of load select in the gravity and use the x direction click on the member right here just like this to apply the 20 kilonewton successfully as you can see now we want to apply the point load of 25 kilonewton as a live load so we will select the point load from here and then choose here q load and then we provide the load magnitude of 25 kilonewton and then in the direction click in the gravity option select x direction and pick this point to have this load apply successfully so the last load we need to apply it is the 10 kilonewton so this is going to be at the first level so now we are successfully applied these two loads which are this uh full uniform load click on the ok option okay so the next load we need to move the green lines to the st1 just like this and then get back to the load editor so over here click on the uh point load right here so now we have to provide a point load of 10 kN. the magnitude of the load just like this direction should be x as well x1 and then you click on the point to actually apply the point load as you can see which is as a dead load all right this is as a dead load 
I will click on the OK options. I want to confirm the load I've applied so far on this frame. So I will move, move the grid lines to the ST2 and then I get back to the load editor over here. You can see the G load I've applied successfully. If I select in this provision and choose Q load, you can see the 25 uh, kN I've also applied. Okay, so everything is good. Click on the OK options. Now we have fully loaded this frame. Click on save to save this model. Navigate to the analysis tab and we will click on the building analysis. I click on analysis options. Let me check this model for an error. I have zero error. Click on the building analysis option. And then over here, I'll click to check the steel. But before then, we should be able to understand the pre analysis materials that we are considering. Okay, for the steel columns right here, we use strength X275. All right, then for the uh, steel beam, we use the same strength. All right, so these are the necessary uh, material strength we are considering. Okay, click on the OK options and then proceed to the analysis. Then we'll click on the building analysis. I proceed to check the steel member design, check options right here, and then proceed to building analysis. Click on that and then give the program just some seconds to carry out the analysis, which is completed successfully, after which we proceed to check the model. So close this dialog right away and then we can proceed to display options and then visual interrogations, navigate to design statutes and then click on the OK. You can see that all of the state members has been designed except this one failed. All right, so I'll get back to the analysis tab right here and then I look at the analytical model. There we go. So this is the analytical model. So you can see the displacement of the frame based on the horizontal load. And then if you check the animation, so you can see the directions of pushed based on the applied load. I can proceed to check the diagram such as the shear force. This is based on the load. This is the shear force diagram for the frame. And here is the bending moment diagram. Okay, for this frame successfully, you can see. Okay, now we proceed to the physical model. Here we want to optimize the sections. Let's actually check the section selected. So I will have to select on one of these uh, steel stanchion. I'll start from this one and click on the uh, steel member design option. So in this steel member design option, you can see my utilization ratio is 0 0.6. Okay, so I can't be able, I can be able to reduce the sections of uh, this tension so I can come to change section and then you see I can take it to 254, 254, 73, and I select that, click on the OK, and I'm having 0.995, so this is not too good, I'll have to work on the kg, right, so I'll change from 73 kg, and I can use 132 kg, right, click on the OK option, so this is even 0 0.5, all right, so I will get that again, and so this is optimization process. I will use a T9 options. Okay, this is perfect for me. All right, so I can also check the uh, diagram of this particular beam. Uh, sorry, column sections I've actually uh, selected successfully. I can as well print the design report from this provision. Okay. So the design report for this tension are these, okay, generated successfully. I can print a PDF or office. Then we proceed to check the beam, basically the third beam. You can see this section is now smaller than the upper section. So you need to select this 
and also optimize to get the same selected sections now i select on this pin and then click on this team member design so let's see this is fair the u ratio is more than one so we increase the sections so over here ub and then we have this let's try 54 kg select that click on the ok option 64 kg of the same section as passed so it's just the uh the plate thickness that we have increased so that is perfect click on the ok option or if you want to view the detailed detailed report use this options of detail report so this is more or less like a summary options okay so this will give you more detailed report of the steel members design successfully okay i hope you have learned one or two things in this particular master class video okay do not forget to subscribe to like we will be stopping here if you have interest for protest 26 reach to us for a guide all right see you in the next presentations have a great day and bye for now